guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a quick 10 minute everyday makeup tutorial. It's one of my most requested videos um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys today. Um, this is my everyday makeup look. It takes me about 10 minutes to do it. I don't have much time throughout the week to do my makeup especially with Ashton. Um, so I don't like to feel like I have a lot of makeup on. I like to feel very natural and light. Um, and you know, I'm just running around doing things all day. I just hate that feeling of having a lot of makeup on. But at the same time, I just wanna look cute and feel good. Um, I feel like when I do put a little bit of makeup, I feel better about myself. Um, so uh, with that being said, when you guys are looking at this video, um, Keep in mind that usually I have eyelash extensions. Today I don't. I actually haven't done my eyebrows or um, gotten my eyelashes done. I have appointments this week. Um, but, you know, if I don't have extensions, then I'll apply like natural wispy eyelashes. Um, and with my um, natural like wispy lashes, I'll use them up to like about five times. As long as you clean them good, um, they're good to use. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and you learn a little from it. So to start off, I wash my face and then I moisturize it and then I go ahead and apply Benefits the Porefessional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. Next I like to spray Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin all over my face. It's very soothing and calming to the skin and it's good for harsh weather defense. Next I like to use NARS. Um, Barcelona Sheer Glow Foundation Medium 4 and I apply that on my face with a flat foundation brush. I apply some foundation on the palm of my hand and then I just pat it into my skin. I don't like to rub the foundation. I pat it in because you don't waste as much product and it's better coverage. After I apply my foundation with the brush, I go ahead and I blend with the beauty blender. I stipple or bounce it all over the face. Um, there's no need to press into the skin too hard. The beauty blender does the work for you. To contour, I like to use MAC Full Coverage Foundation in NW50. In order to make my face look a little more defined, I use an angled brush in the hollow of my cheeks to make them uh, look structured. I use it on my forehead to make it look smaller, on my chin to make it look smaller, and then I'll also use it on my jawbone just to um, make it look a little smaller and structured. I also love to contour my nose. I apply it on the tip of my nose, on the bridges of my nose, take it all the way up to my eyebrows, and then I apply it underneath my lips to make them look a little bigger. For concealer, I love using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium 2 Ginger. It's easy to apply and quick to use and I just love the way it settles. Next with the Beauty Blender, I go ahead and I stipple my face, um, blending everything together, making sure there's no harsh lines. With the tip of the Beauty Blender, I blend underneath my eyes. Um, no rubbing, just patting. You don't want to remove any of the makeup. Using a beauty blender is amazing because it does all the work for you. I don't even know how I used to do my makeup without it. It's just so much easier to like blend everything quicker. Um, before using brushes, it used to take forever. Next, I like to use Laura Mercier's Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I grab the tip of the beauty blender and I put it into the translucent powder and then pat it into my skin to set the foundation and the concealer. Next, I use Benefit's Hula Powder as a bronzer. Using an angled brush, I buff the powder into the hollows of my cheeks, swifting back and forth. And then um, to make my forehead look smaller, I dust the powder into the hairline until it blends seamlessly. And then to define my jawline and slim down my neck, I bring the powder along the jaw and around the chin. I also go ahead and I bronze my nose and contour. So I'll get the tip of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and then I just make sure that I do it lightly with the soft hand so there's no harsh lines. With the Beauty Blender, I make sure to just blend it all in so there's no harsh lines. Then with the blending brush, I like to use MAC Saddle Eyeshadow on my eyebrow crease and I just blend it in 
and then with a clean brush I go ahead and I blend it in some more. This just gives my eyes some warmth and definition. With a small flat eyeshadow brush, I'm applying MAC bronzed eyeshadow to my lid. I love using either um, the bronzed eyeshadow or the color Woodwink. Those are my two favorites. For blush, I'm using MAC Just a Pinch Extra Dimension Blush, and right now this is one of my favorites. It's a very peachy color with highlight, and it just looks amazing on my skin. Next, with the large fluffy brush, I remove all the translucent powder. For eyebrows, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in soft brown to line my eyebrows. During the week, I just fill in my eyebrows with pencil and powder. I don't really clean them up with concealer and do all that as I don't have time for it. This is my eyebrows. I like to use Benefit Bra Zings in number five. And I just like to fill in the edges just to make them look a little sharper and a little darker. Then I brush them out so that they blend evenly. For mascara, I love to use Benefit Roller Lash. And I use this on my top lashes and on my bottom as well. So I'm using Elegant Wispy Lashes and Duo Glue. I love these lashes because they're very natural looking. But like I mentioned before, I normally have eyelash extensions. But when I don't, you'll catch me wearing these uh, wispy lashes. After I apply my false lashes, I always like to put another coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Applying highlighter, I like to wet my brush a little. I use MAC Gold Deposit. I apply it on the highlights of my cheekbones. I apply it on um, my chin, on my forehead. And then I like to use Benefit's What's Up Highlighter. It's a cream. I put it on the tip of my nose, tip of my lips, and blend it in. So I apply some chapstick and then I line my lips with a natural lip liner by Circa called Toffee. Next I fill my lips in with Honest Beauty Truly Kissable Lip Crayon and the color Sheer Chestnut Kiss. Then I go ahead and set my makeup with Skindinavia the Makeup Primer Spray. And lastly guys, if I feel I want my makeup to stand out a little more, I'll use Girl Lactics Beauty Matte Lip Paint in the color Posh and I feel like it just helps my uh, makeup pop a little more, it doesn't look too natural. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. And also, um, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, make sure you leave all your comments down below. I'll be reading and responding. I love getting feedback from you guys. Um, and lastly, guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Jessica Giselle underscore. And I'm also going to be working on Ashton's um, Instagram page today. His is at, at Ashton Carter Rives. So make sure you guys follow us. Um, and that way you guys can get to know us a little more and see what we do on an everyday basis. I post a lot more on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Till next time.